delete APFS volume. Can I delete that if I'm booted off of it? I don't want to try that. Wouldn't try. <laughs> I don't want, I don't really want to do that. Greetings, Internet Crazy Ken is back, and today I am actually joined by Brainiac Brent. He's just uh, on a satellite intercommunication feed with me today. And today we're actually going to be installing the final release of macOS High Sierra. And when I talked to Brent about being on here, uh, what did you say? I have no idea what I'm doing here, so let's go! And I said that's exactly how I feel. I mean, that's, that's Crazy Ken in and, all, you know, in and of itself. All right, so I ran the download and on my amazing broadband network, which actually isn't too bad considering I'm out in the middle of nowhere, it downloaded in about 10 minutes. So let us now commence reading the end user license agreement. English, Apple Incorporated, software license agreement for macOS High Sierra. Uh, Brent, how about you continue from here? Kidding. You, you want to give me a screenshot? <laughs> totally joking. Um, Aww, so I wanted you to read me that bedtime story. It, it sounded good. It actually is a good bedtime story because it will put you to sleep. My favorite part is the part about the nuclear weapons. Oh, yeah, that usually does come up. <laughs> and, and he's not kidding. Like Certain Apple slaws have, you know... You may not use any Apple software or products for the use, creation, etc., of biological or nuclear chemical weapons. Yeah, pretty crazy. Um, I'm sure. I don't think that's ever like happened. I, I can call like Homeland Security and be like, "Hey, has this ever been like a case?" <laughs> so we're restarting now, and I don't know if we get an option to update to the new Apple file system, which is a new feature of this OS, but let's see. It might be mandatory. Now, I'm I no think you... No, I, I don't think you're forced to. I think it is an option, if, if I recall correctly. Yeah, because I've honestly been waiting for a new file system for ever since, like, Snow Leopard when they teased ZFS, and that never happened. Now, we've been with HFS+. Plus. Well, I mean, HFS dates back to, like, the 80s, like, back to System 2, uh, but on top of that, you have HFS Plus and macOS Extended, and that particular version dates back to, like, the macOS 8 era, so the late 90s. Ever since then, I don't think there's been a lot of advancements with it. But now we have APFS, which is brand spanking new. And in addition to having APFS, we have about 41 minutes remaining, so... Uh, we <laughs> that is... I've honestly installed new versions of macOS before, and it's never taken that long. Once uh, this... Fin oh, screen went black. Or did it... Oh. What did you do? It just turned off. Hang on. Is it rebooting or... I can't tell because they took off the power lights, those bastards. <laughs> oh, wait. It's doing something. Okay. There's a picture of a okay. fruit. Is it an orange? It is. What's my prize? Um... A noose? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to cut that out. <laughs> Yeah, a that's, noose? That's no one's get. No one's gonna get that. No, no one, one will get that not, joke. Unless it were Sprite. Sprite would well, get that joke. If SC was watching, yeah. All right, so we got about thirty-five minutes remaining. Again, this is like the slowest system software installation I've ever noticed with this computer. Um, I don't know. Maybe High Sierra does things differently. Uh, who knows? Maybe it is converting to APFS right now and is factoring that into the time. Probably not. It should ask for your consent for that. But then again, <laughs> this is Apple we're talking about. Yeah. File system consent? Is that a thing? File system consent. Ask for it. Before you FSCK. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're at completing the installation. We have a mouse cursor and no Apple logo. I don't remember if they did that before, but then again, I don't remember much of anything. What did I have for breakfast this morning? I can vouch for that. Oh, that's true. What did I have for breakfast this morning? Trick question! I slept through breakfast. Mm-hmm. Wow, you're... You are an edgy man, Ken. Hey, I'm installing this without a power cord plugged in. I like to live dangerously. Oh, shh. Right oh, chaps, we're at the Apple ID screen, so you're gonna need to close your eyes for this. Setting up your Mac. Okay. And there's a reminder from two days ago that I'm going to postpone yet again. Don't tell the person involved with the reminder that I did that. And we have the new we have the new App Store icon already. I can see that. So that's start, the one with the popsicle sticks. Oh, this is nice. There's a lock screen option in the Apple menu now. That is kind of cool. Okay, so that's cool. Let's just uh, make sure this actually worked about this Mac. Mac OS High Sierra, boom. And let's see our file system. Let's see if it actually... 
did the thing. Oh, there's a manage storage button there. That, I think that shortcut is new too. Let's see. APFS encrypted. So we have our MacBook Pro updated to APFS now. Okay, so another little touch I'm noticing is that the system preferences actually has a little badge now for when there's updates for important information. This particular one pertains to my two-factor authentication. And, but what we're actually gonna do is something a little more fun. So apparently there's a new Siri voice. It's more natural. We're gonna test it out. So Brent, uh, what should I ask good old Siri today? Play Video Killed the Radio Star. I can't play movies for you. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, once again, is not a very intelligent assistant, but the voice is way better. I can hear oh that. Oh my god, infinitely. That. Oh, ask her to show you pictures of foxes. I love foxes. Okay. Hey, Siri, show me pictures of foxes. I didn't find any photos. <sighs> the world is dead. I guess it does say search the web. So I guess I could click that, and then it brings me... Here are some images of foxes I found on the web. Okay, so maybe okay, I need to... saved. Maybe I need we're to say, saved. like, search the web for foxes. I oh, guess. she's probably trying to look through your photo library. Um, anyway, let's have it do something a little more mathematical, like... How many British pounds are equivalent to 177 U.S. dollars? That's a little arbitrary. Found on the web for how many British pounds are equivalent to 177 US dollars? Siri, you are <laughs> so you useless. You are so useless, Siri. It's so sad. Like, I can type that into Spotlight and it'll get it just fine. Here, I'll do it right now. Hang on, I'll type it right into Spotlight. I'm gonna try Siri on iPad too, because I'm pretty sure she should be able to do that. There, see, 132, 11 right there. How many British pounds are in 177 US dollars? What would you like to convert into British pounds? See? 177 US dollars. Asshole of an assistant. The answer is 132 British pounds and 11 pence. One response later. Yeah, well, at least you got further. I had more luck just by typing it into, you know, good old spotlight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I was just getting together a few quick demos while Brent found some things to test Siri with, and files seem to be opening up kind of slow. Like here, I'll, I'll even open up this uh, Computer Clan Origins thing. Look at how slow that is, and watch what pops up here. There's like a verification panel that pops up before it actually opens. So I was like, okay, that's weird. That doesn't normally happen. And then I thought, well, the file system just got upgraded. It probably has to be re-encrypted. I don't know, I'm guessing. But then I went to the activity monitor and I noticed um, there was like an HI utility running in the background. It was using like 50% of one of the cores or threads, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now it's gone though. So I'm a little concerned as to why some things are going slow. And if there is something like encrypting or decrypting in the background, I don't know where it would be inside of this uh, activity monitor. So a little confused there. Uh, Brent, do you have your Siri tests ready, though? Yeah. Next up, and you can go first, is who is Stan Lee? All right. Who is Stan Lee? Nope. Okay, I found this on the web for who is Stan Lee. Bullshit. Stan Lee Lake. It's, uh, yes. no. All right, let I me mean, try who, on my you, end. You should already know who he is, though. I actually just saw him who like, last Stan week. Who is Stan Lee? I got Stanley. Yeah. Like, the name Stanley. Yeah, right? This is, this is why I just never use these voice assistants. Like, they slow me down. I, I am so much faster just typing the thing in. What are critics saying about the Emoji Movie? What are critics saying about the Emoji Movie? Rotten Tomatoes gives the Emoji Movie a 10% rating. Now that I can agree with. Good, 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 good. What are critics saying about the Emoji Movie? She just binged it. Okay. No, okay so so yeah. the series got a point there. Okay. And the last one. So the one. last one. Okay. Yeah. The last one is go to thecomputerclan.com. Here we go. Go to thecomputerclan.com. And bam, it nailed that one. Nice. Let me try on here. Go to thecomputerclan.com. It... It bings everything. Bummer. Well, okay, Siri, it looks like you won in this shootout. Oh, against Cortana, anyway. Oh, so not much of a competitor. 
Let's just switch over to Netflix, see what's going on in Netflix. Oh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. That certainly is not my Netflix account. I don't know how that got on there. Sorry, I've... He, I, he gave me his Netflix password a few days ago. But you still... I was the one watching. Wait, I mean, what? <laughs> I was trying to save your butt there, Ken. And you just... You threw yourself under the bus. Righto. So, honestly, there's not a lot in High Sierra that really excites me, but there's two things I wanted to point out right now. The first one was the extended photos capabilities. One thing I don't like is that the sidebar always seems to be up right now. Eh, not a huge fan, whatever, I have the screen space for it, but what I'm really excited about, let's bring this full screen because we are badasses, is the new editing capabilities. There are a billion options now compared to before, and there's still third-party extensions, but we even have things like noise reduction, which is pretty nice. I'm not gonna do much with this photo because this is already rendered into a JPEG, but I should maybe in the Tidbytes demo test this out with raw photos and see how it does. All right, so that's pretty cool. The other thing I wanted to test out was HEVC, also known as H.265. So I have our Computer Clan Origins video here. And right now, this is a 5.79 gigabyte file at 4K resolution with H.264. So let's export it with H.265 in 4K and see how much smaller the file size is and if it affects the quality at all. And how long it takes to compress. You betcha, and I bet it's gonna break. Okay, so sometimes I forget that I'm an old poor guy and can't afford, or just haven't chosen to buy, a new MacBook Pro that has hardware accelerated HEVC. So converting this is gonna take about three hours. And if you're curious, it's both. Right. He is broke and lazy. It's now four hours. I am actually curious, uh, maybe in a future video, I would like to pit this against Adobe Media Encoder, which has HEVC support and see if it takes as long. So I'm scrolling through my sidebar to try to find a different video, and I was like, why can't I find my shit? It resorted everything with like no rhyme or reason. Nothing is in the order I left it in. Now, why would a High Sierra update resort my sidebar? That makes no sense. <laughs> P-list format update? Could be. That dri I that, don't know. That's going to drive me crazy. I now got to fix that. That'll be fun. Okay, so the last few things I want to show are with Safari and Disk Utility. But yeah, so the prevent cross-site tracking is something that I'm pretty sure some advertisers shat their pants over. Uh, I saw an article about how that might affect how advertising is delivered. So mm, it's kind of a dodgy one. That might hurt some people, but maybe not the consumer because everyone likes their privacy. I totally understand that. So we'll see yeah, where that if goes. Anything, if anything, advertisers are going to be all pissy about, where's all my metadata about all the stuff about you who's seeing my ads and stuff, but um, I'm pretty sure that's what people would want. Yeah, well, we'll see. I work in marketing, and I'll see if like anyone brings up that concern, but it's cool that we also have like some different website settings, and you can actually do like, you can do this a la carte. You can change settings per like individual website. So it's not just all on or all off. You can change individual settings on certain sites like autoplay, content blocking, reader mode. So that's pretty cool. So they're doing some cool stuff with Safari, it looks like. The one thing I wanna really show with APFS is containers because uh, this is an interesting feature of Apple's new file system. So with containers, what you can do is have a volume with these like flexible partitions, you could say. So we can add an APFS volume to a container. So instead of having fixed storage sizes for partitions, which are rigid, these are actually flexible. So with our size options, we can have a reserve size, which the, the size will never go below, and then a quota size, which the size will never go above. So that's pretty cool, and it's flexible. Delete APFS volume. Can I delete that if I'm booted off of it? I don't want to try that. Wouldn't try. I don't want, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> so, yes, I'm thinking a Tidbytes video demoing off High Sierra would be nice. Maybe one talking about APFS separately, and then one pitting HEVC in Adobe software versus QuickTime. Uh, some future videos, so make sure you subscribe and stick around so you can check those out. But uh, other than that, yeah, I'll keep playing with this. So far, pretty good. The only thing that's driving me crazy is my sidebar got reorganized. Ha ha ha. Um, but can't other than win that, them all. Can't win them all. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Brandiac Brent, thanks for being here. 
course. And we'll see you in the not-too-distant future.